Hi and welcome to the Ruby Tuesdays review of Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency Season 2. Okay, so Dirk Gently, this is the Season 2. It's based upon uh, the books from Douglas Adams. And uh, if you know anything about Dov Douglas Adams, he, he wrote The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which I'm a massive fan of. I think... <laughs> Dirk, what? What was that? Uh, uh, when I caught the first season originally um, of Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency, well, tongue twister, um, I, I had no idea uh, who had written them. I had no idea what to expect. I flicked it on and I was hooked instantly um, because of the, the, the scripting and the story. It was so weird and whacking out there. Uh, that it just grabbed my attention. So the first story took Elijah Wood as the Dirk's kind of new protege or sidekick to uh, to find out what the universe had in store for them because uh, a, a holistic um, detective is allowing the, the, the uh, allowing the universe to show you what it wants you to help you uh, solve um, his cases. Interconnectedness, coincidence, and the rarer, sexier coincidence. And so th the first season was basically about um, body swapping and time traveling. So at the end of the first season, uh, Dirk was caught by the government agency Black Wing, which is their agency which kind of, you know, the, the groups that go bump in the night, that they want to capture these people with weird and wacky gifts. What is going on? And use them somehow. And the rest of the group, Elijah Wood and his sister, they're all spread out. And um, it did kind of leave it on a cliffhanger. So season two picks up exactly, kind of, not exactly, kind of where it left off. Dirk has been tortured. He's He's not believing uh, in himself as this holistic detective. He's... Surprise! Nothing works. Dead end. Yeah, things are just going wrong and the group is all over the place. But this story, this second season, is basically, um, instead of about time traveling and uh, body swapping, this one is a fantasy story about a, a fantasy world that collides with the real world. And as you can imagine, crazy things ensue. Unicorns, wizards, um, uh, magic, strange things, houses within houses. I mean, it's just crazy. <laughs> How, you, when, when pitching this, I imagine if you didn't have the mind of Douglas Adams behind you, it would be really hard to pitch this to a studio because it is really strange. Do you know Ken? Season two has 10 episodes and each episode d obviously ev evolves the storyline a little bit more and it keeps you guessing, but each episode makes you think that you understand what's happening. Um, it, it, it helps draw the characters together, uh, but you think you know what's going to happen, happen. And then like the next episode, more craziness ensues and you go, oh, I didn't expect that. Have you noticed an acceleration of strangeness? I love a show that keeps you guessing. There are extra characters that they've um, added into this for the, kind of the main characters from, from the, this season two, Alan Tudyk, plays a character named the priest he's like the badass bad guy that the government agency will send out to kind of get these guys with um powers um back not superpowers but weird wacky powers that the universe has bestowed upon these uh people this is gonna be a wild one uh it was so refreshing to see alan tudyk back on screen i loved him in firefly um and he again has created himself a crazy character Oh, no God. I mean, I think that's the, the one thing I can say about this series. It's it's like Stranger Things on crack or I've never had crack, so I don't know what there is. But it's like Stranger Things on, 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 uh, on drugs. And I don't like to compare everything to Stranger Things. It feels like I am doing that a lot at the moment. I know where to go. Fulfill the prophecy. Find Doug gently. You, you hope that everything's going to come together and work in the end but you don't quite know what's going to happen. <laughs> so as a, as a viewer, as an audience member, you, you're looking and you're trying to find and, and you feel like you're part of the you're, you're part of the team. You feel like you're part of the, the, the detective, the holistic detective agency and uh, you're willing them, you're wanting them to win and you, you're immediately a part of, uh, of wanting the good guys to win. Although um, this series quickly shows you that good and bad is not black and white. 
which I really like about it. The good guys can come over to the, um, the bad guy's side and the bad guys can come over to the good guy's side. They are crazy characters that you just think there's no ways that they can work with and that they do work with. Up. We have to get to the lost city of gold to collect the sacred algae before it's too late. They've done a really great job at transitioning this over to uh, the screen. I don't think this could work as a film. It needs to be drawn out and, and every little one-liner and clever like nuance thing in the script where the story uh, evolves and lets you know that something new is happening and that you're just about to get it and then you don't quite reach it. Um, as a TV series it works really well it's definitely binge worthy it's one that you just want to click over and watch the next one and watch the next one and watch the next one and the 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 filming techniques are great the the acting there are no weak links there are just Find the boy. I was I was saying to my wife when I was watching this that every single character is so well defined and it, it's it's not I don't think it's, I mean, it's definitely their acting ability, but I think it's down to the writing again. I have no idea. How did I forget how annoying you are? So you can see every character has its unique abilities and characteristics that you are in love with. You literally, well, I literally loved every single character, even the bad guys, and I couldn't wait to see what was going to happen next. Do not take the shot! Um, I was totally engaged all the time. Like, I didn't get bored. There wasn't a moment where I thought that the the episodes dragged there was only the next moment where i wanted to see what was going to happen next because it kept me guessing i thought i could guess what was going to happen oh. oh they just went into a house within a house and there's a one-eyed purple flying people eater fantasy wise i loved what they did how they mixed the two worlds in this series where um what you think is the norm for fantasy so for an example how you think a unicorn should look um, they twist that a bit and give the unicorns a weird twisted um, horn and what you think a wizard should do or how a wizard should act they they take what you th well what I what I think the general public thinks as fantasy and it, and it kind of spins everything on its head and that, that, that's what I think is partly that makes this series great is that um, what you think is normal what, what you normally get from a TV series that obeys a certain amount of rules, this twist is on its, on its head and everything wacky and weird that you could think of that would happen in the world um, happens within this fantasy kind of sci-fi genre yeah. and is grounded because of the great writing and scripting. I won so many more of these series and I don't think we're going to get any. Apparently they're not going to pick it up for a third season, it's been cancelled officially I'm in love with this series. I love the first season, love the second season. I probably will watch them over a number of times. I think it's one of those series that's ahead of its time. Um, like Firefly, years after, more than 10 years afterwards, people love Firefly and can go back and watch it. It spawned a, a film. I would love this to spawn something more. I'm going to go and read the rest of the books because that's the only way I can get to see this character. But I urge you, it comes out on January the 5th um, across the world on Netflix, apart from America, I believe. I think it's already aired in America, but we're just about to get it here, season two. And it's so much fun. It's so good. You could probably watch it uh, a number of times and see new things um, every with every viewing. I... I have watched a couple of episodes a number of times over um, and I noticed that there were sounds in the background that gave you clues as to what was happening. So it's <laughs> it's so clever to keep you guessing but at the same time in the background your mind is working. I'm going to put this in a great and awesome because it's great and awesome. Great! In awesome? Awesome! That I can't wait for you guys to see. There's so many great things about each episode and I, I don't want to go into it too much because I don't want to give any major spoilers but all I can say is this is on par with Stranger Things and Dark. It's definitely worth your time in watching it. Thanks for joining uh, the Ruby Tuesday. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching this review. And this is our last one for 2017. So look out for all our other reviews coming out in 2018. We've got lots of great stuff uh, queued up for 2018. Thanks. Bye.